going on everybody dog trainer behavior technician Drayton Michaels here to talk to you about why you need to stop listening to people when they tell you how to train your dog I remember once I ran into a lady uh, I was out walking dogs and uh, she asked if she could meet the dog I was walking I said sure and then she proceeded to tell me that she was a dog trainer I said oh that's great uh, what's your business do you have a business card she said oh no no I don't do that I just help people in my neighborhood well, while this might on the surface seem to be okay, actually, if you don't know about applied behavior analysis and you have no actual skills training dogs, you shouldn't be giving people advice. Okay, if it's something simple like give your dog a work to eat toy when you leave the house, okay. But you shouldn't be giving people training and behavior advice unless you absolutely know what you're doing. People might have the best of intentions, but that intention has to match their intelligence and skill level in consulting and training dogs okay you can't just go out here willy-nilly and tell people what to do with their dogs it's just like I tell my clients don't go to the internet and just search out dog training because it's a sea of misinformation and bad information you want to work with a certified positive reward based force-free trainer who actually understands how to do a functional assessment and has experience in the area you need help with. There's plenty of dog trainers who might be great at obedience training or getting your dog to come when called, but they may not know anything about counter conditioning. They may not, they may not know anything about separation anxiety. They may never have had any real experience with dynamics where there's dogs and kids involved. In my 20 plus years consulting people and helping dogs, I have heard the most ridiculous advice come from veterinarians, other trainers, friends, family, neighbors, internet blogs. It's endless. So stop listening to people when they tell you how to train your dog. Get professional help by somebody who has been certified by an organization or a school that specializes in positive reinforcement and force-free training. Because at least then you're going to have information based in science, you're going to have humane procedures and more likely than not you're going to be working with somebody who is not going to harm or worsen your dog's behavior when it comes to serious behavior issues such as aggression extreme fear or stress separation anxiety where there's a bite history involved you absolutely do not want to just take advice from somebody you want to seek out legitimate help and this legitimate help will be from somebody who has been certified by a school or organization that specializes in applied behavior analysis, positive reinforcement, and force free. Do not get hoodwinked thinking your aggressive dog needs to be manhandled or taught a lesson or choked or shocked into submission. It will only make matters worse. Training animals is a science and an art, and the science is based in applied behavior analysis. At this point in history, we have enough documented animal trainers who know what they're doing. And remember, dogs are animals. As anthropomorphized as they are and as domesticated as they are, dogs are animals. Dogs operate from a safe, unsafe, neutral perspective. That's the foundation of Pavlovian conditioning or associative learning. If you are working with somebody or getting advice from somebody that does not understand fully the paradigms of safe, unsafe, neutral, and how they relate to your dog's associations to the world around them, do not listen to what they have to say. Also, bear in mind that if somebody really knew as much about dogs as they pretend to know, they'd probably quit their job and they'd go do it professionally. I make an incredibly good living. I help a lot of people. I help a lot of dogs. And in over 20 years, I haven't asked for a dollar or a day off from anybody. So if they really, really knew what they were doing and what they were talking about, they'd be willing to actually put their name behind it, go get certified, start a business, and do it every single day. If they're not in that category, and again, they have to be a positive reward-based force-free trainer with a knowledge of the science of animal behavior, if they don't have these qualities, you should not be listening to them and you certainly shouldn't be hiring them. When people who don't know what they're doing, even with the best of intentions, give out advice or try to help you with your dog, they're putting you, your community, and your dog at risk because you're wasting time when you could actually get legit help. So remember, stop listening to people when they tell you how to train your dog.
Thanks for watching Modern Dog Training. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pass this information on to people who might need it. Have a great day. Train safe, train force free.